What's up everyone? We all know why you're here. You've got a brand new 3D printer by Monoprice. You've unboxed it. You've removed the packaging materials. You level your build plate following the directions in the manual word for word. Then you download Cura and boom, you can't figure out how to configure the software. The user's manual is out of date and the included version of Cura is ancient. So stick around because I'm about to show you how to get your brand new 3D printer up and running in no time. When you buy your Monoprice printer, it comes with an included version of Cura, as well as instructions showing how to install and configure your printer to work with the bundled software version. Unfortunately, the bundled software version and directions are for a very early version of Cura. While you can install the bundled version of Cura, it's not recommended as there have been many updates to improve upon efficiency, cut down on waste, and a whole lot of features have been added in to make your life easier. First things first, we need to get Cura downloaded and installed. Visit the link down below in the description or click the link right here in the video to be taken to the Cura download page. Once there, Click the giant blue download button. If you haven't downloaded Kira before, I recommend filling out the requested information. It does help the developers out. It is optional, however, so you can skip that step. Once downloaded, step through the installer. If the default settings are good enough for you, you can just keep clicking next until the program is installed. Sweet, now you've got Kira installed. Click finish and Kira will automatically open up. Your computer will ask you if you want to allow Cura to access your network connections. Cura requires your network connections for software updates, printing to network-based printers, and more. I strongly recommend allowing Cura to connect to both public and private networks. Up next, it'll ask you to agree to the user agreement. Take a moment, read it, and click agree. Once open, Cura will present you with an add printer window. From here on out, you can ignore your Monoprice user manual. Select Custom, as Kira does not have predefined settings for the Monoprice 3D printers. The option Custom FDM Printer will be selected by default as it's the only option available at the time this video has been produced. The last thing to do on this screen is to enter in the name of your printer into the text box on the lower left corner of the window. It'll pop up the next window titled Machine Settings. In Machine Settings, you'll find four major sections, Printer Settings, Printhead Settings, Start G-Code, and End G-Code. Let's start with the printer settings. First, set your X-axis, also known as your width, to 200 millimeters. Next, set your Y-axis, or your depth, to 200 millimeters. Finally, set your Z-axis, or your height, to 175 millimeters. If you're not using the Monoprice Maker Ultimate as your printer, Check your printer specifications to ensure this lines up with your printer's build volume appropriately. The build plate shape should be set to rectangular, origin at center should remain unchecked, and you should be sure to check the option for heated bed. Your G-code flavor should be set to Marlin. Next, let's move on to the print head settings. X-min should be set to 35mm, Y-min should be 25mm. X max should be 45 mm and Y max should be 90 mm. The gantry height should be set to 40 mm. The number of extruders should be set to 1 with a material diameter of 1.75 mm and a nozzle size of 0.4 mm. If you're not using the Monoprice Maker Ultimate, these settings may need to be fine tuned a bit. And finally, you can leave the start and end G-code boxes as is, unless you have a specific reason to change them. They work perfectly fine out of the box in my own testing experience. Well, there you have it. Cura is now configured and ready to print. On the main window of Cura, select the filament material that you plan to print with. Load up your favorite STL file, position it on the build plate, and save your G-code to your SD card. Insert the card into your printer and use the on-screen display to get your 3D print started. In my next video, I'll go over some of the more advanced options and settings in Cura to help improve your prints from the Monoprice Maker Ultimate 3D printer. Until next time, see ya!